G'day guys, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm bringing you some great little recipes which I was lucky enough to go on Escape with ET and do some segments with the great Andrew Edinghausen. Some of these recipes that we're doing are so simple, you can easily do them at home. They're all on the barbecue, so you can just get out there in the backyard and give them a crack. So here you go. Escaping with the well, this week finds me at Southwest Rocks. I'm fishing with a good friend and chef Paul Brahini, and we're on the hunt for some brim. We're using Atomic Vibes, and we're casting forward of the kayaks and just working them back. So hopefully, some brim turn up soon. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, lots of head shakes. Feels like a, not a monster, but uh, definitely a brim. Not too bad. And that's on the vibe. Yep, little atomic vibe, this one. OK, and we'll actually keep this one for a feed. Paul, our chef, is going to cook us up a beautiful brim meal. And we're not alone on the hunt for a meal. The dolphin put on enough of a show to take our minds off our own fishing for a moment. Your country, mate, that's for sure. Hey? <laughs> oh, yeah. dear. How fantastic is that? It's got to be careful where to cast. Oh, I'm on, Andrew. Start, oh, Paul. Well done. Brim? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, he's going hard. Yep, a brim. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first brim. I'm one of these type of lures, that's for sure. It's fantastic. That's good, mate. Well done. Do you need to keep that one, or you can let him go? Oh, I think we can let him go, mate. Yeah, right. So that one yeah. I've got, that's, that's good enough for dinner? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's good, mate. Well done. Well, mate, you're going to get to live another day. And away he goes. A beautiful end to another day of great fishing with a mate. Good fishing, good food, with the help of your local green grocer, Creo Crush Seasonings, Sandhurst Fine Foods, and the barbecue and fireplace centre Sunshine Coast. Chef Paul Brahini and I are preparing to show you another great seafood dish. Well, what a place to uh, cook up some seafood here at Scott's Head. Fantastic. We had a really good afternoon session on the brim. How do you like to cook them? We've got some fantastic produce here from Sandhurst and also from your local greengrocer. So lots of fresh produce to work with. Yeah. Now, where do you start? On the barbecue, mate. On so, the barbie? Yeah, yeah. What we're going to do is basically sear this fish and then we're going to gently poach it in some of this uh, soda water that we're using. Basically, what I'm going to do, a tiny bit of flour stops it from sticking. Now we're just going to put a little bit of olive oil on here. Well, the olive oil that we're using today is uh, sensational. So I'm just going to pop this straight on the barbecue. All done. Yeah. The good thing about this dish is that we don't need to worry too much about the fish being cooked all the way through, because I'm going to actually finish it in the pan. What we need to do is get some oil in this pan, which are preheated as well. We're just going to saute some onions off. Our tomatoes are going in. I'm just going to have to cut these, Andrew, just quickly. We've got our tomatoes in there, our onions. Capers are going in there now. Okay. A bit salty too. Yeah, a little bit salty. Next, we're going to put in our olives. Beautiful green olives in there. They're really, really nice. And some black olives as well. It's going to give that a bit of a toss around now. And now I'm going to add my soda water. So this is the crazy part. Yeah, be careful. Last time I did this, it exploded on me. Oh, really? So, yeah, we've got to okay. be careful. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the crazy part. OK, <laughs> so a little bit of soda water goes in. So what's the soda water do? Deglazes the pan. Then what I'm going to do is reduce it down. So you get all the flavours in yeah, one big yeah. mix. Yeah, yeah. On with the fish. What this does is actually gives us a really nice flavour through the dish. Oh, yeah. So you get like a two textured fish. Oh, that's pretty perfect. cool. Yeah. The next thing I've got to do is just emulsify this sauce. We just add a little bit of butter in there. It starts to make a sauce. Beautiful smells. You smell that. Sensational. Yeah, like a, yeah. I can. I'm just sitting straight over it. So then we're just going to plate up. Unfortunately, we, you know, we've taken a the fish and we want, we want to respect it, so we want to try and uh, cook it to the best ability as we possibly can. And this is a real simple thing for people to do at home as well, you know. The fish has been fabulously cooked on the beef eater from the, the guys at the barbecue and fireplace centre. Yeah. Up on the sunny coast where you're from, mate. That's right, mate. That's right. And then we've got all the others, uh, Creo Crush and Sandhurst and, of course, your local green grocer. Mate, we're very, very lucky to get these guys on board. Well, this so looks what do you reckon? absolutely magnificent. Brilliant. And you can find the recipe on our website. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little recipe. Now, don't forget to get over to Escape with ET. He's got his YouTube channel over there, Andrew. And make sure you subscribe. Great channel with some fantastic fishing all the way from Brim 
right up to Marlin in this great country of ours. See you later, guys. See you next week.